I'll never forget my first experience at Intracoastal Mall. I was with my parents, I think I was about 12 or 13 years old, and we went to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. And uh, at the time, going to a steakhouse was a big deal. It was delicious. It was, it was one of the biggest places I've ever seen. It was right on the water. And I remember going there and I had that memory with me, you know, growing up for, for a long, long time. So when the mall came back for sale, I knew that this is what will put North Miami Beach on the map as a destination. I've been coming down here since the mid 80s for long vacations and New Year's and Christmas and that kind of stuff. And I fell in love with this place. I'm a happy resident of the neighborhood. The inspiration of the project is driven by water and park. We have the community to the north, the beautiful waterfront of the Intracoastal, and an amazing connection to Olita, literally our next door neighbor. I think this is going to be a very comfortable and safe destination. We want to build an exciting mixed-use neighborhood with residences of different types. And this points out one of the most important aspects of our work, which is the context of being sensitive to the community. What we propose in this zone, all the way down to the new playgrounds we're putting in by the gate, is a publicly accessible promenade with privately owned three-story townhouses, which are exactly the same scale as the multifamily apartments across the canal. And right here where I'm standing is where we're gonna have our high-rise taller buildings with unobstructed views of the water and the park and far away from the local community. Most people who live on the east side of 35th Avenue don't get to see the Intracoastal. We don't have anywhere to go if we live in Eastern Shore. And this place, I think with all these parks, I think it's gonna be fantastic. People in the neighborhood could literally walk here. Uh, they could paddleboard here. They could bike here. But from the standpoint of the city, it's a resource for everyone. On days like this, when it's not too hot, you could come outside, you have somewhere to go to enjoy. And of course, added bonus, you're adding dollars into the community. That's a game changer. And so we're very happy that we're gonna be able to have that positive effect on the city. We need to convert congestion to flow. And what we're doing is creating additional lanes, additional traffic movement, literally an entirely additional intersection at 163rd Street that will allow all of this to flow. And we're very excited that this project, unlike any other that I'm aware of, incorporates the water, the green area, the parkland, the intracoastal as part of a beautiful neighborhood that will be accessible easily to the neighbors and also accessible to the entire city. I'm a strong believer in investing. Investing not just in oneself, but investing in the community. I think what we're creating here is more than a neighborhood. It's gonna open a beautiful, beautiful new horizon for all of us. Literally, build this and trust me, the people here in the community will support it because that's what we're looking for. Togetherness, a community togetherness.